Go, yeah, what's going well, on? I suppose it's just a reminder that there is such a thing called load shedding in winter. <laughs> oh, yes, but of course, of course. But I think it's also just to um, wonderfully reveal the champion on the world of champions. And uh, we had him on the magic <laughs> couch to have him return on the magic couch as a champion this time around. And I think the one thing is, Rob, I asked him, <laughs> I asked him, and he said, no, I'm not going to focus on that. How does it feel being a champion? Yeah, makes me older. <laughs> I look older. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a tough ride and um, we're just very happy. It came to conclusion last night, so we're very happy and we look forward to next week's game and try and get the season off on a good note and um, start again. The first thing I should have said Because you're only as good as yesterday. Uh, thank you very much. You must have heard this a lot today, but congratulations on winning the title. Thank you very much and uh, much appreciated and thanks for your support. And this magic couch, I think I should take it home. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't. There's a lot, next of, season. lot of magic comes off this couch. <laughs> for next season. Yeah, we keep it for next season. Because I said to Moeng that the coaches that respect their presence on a magic couch, the results show yeah. on the log table. Unbelievable. And you were here just a couple of weeks ago, and look at where you are now as a champion. That's unbelievable. So just this a catch. One for the mock call, this one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've got a special delivery yeah. uh, company that comes through for these uh, sort of things as well. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of journey that's always a bit difficult to explain again, Gavin, because, I mean, you look at that mm. log table, it shows you that you still got one more game left. Mm. But for you to actually be able to sit here and not be planning for game or match day 30, knowing that you're really the champions. That's the big difference in terms of all of this. Yeah, I mean, I've been to that last day scenario, and <laughs> believe you me, yeah. you don't sleep too well that week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I've been there twice, I think. We've gone to the last five, ten minutes of the game mm. in the league, and uh, it's not a very nice experience. But, yeah, we're very happy. As I said, it finished yesterday. Mm. Um, knowing that we can go into a game like Kaiser Chiefs on a beautiful arena and a great stadium, and uh, and play football and enjoy the game but certainly we will play and prepare the team as normal and and, and you know do things as a professional and i'm sure i mean uh, imagine if your name is <laughs> hey, and you're thinking all right here i am i'm wearing my winner's medal yeah. right now i'm going back to my former home and guess what they're gonna give me a god of honor yeah, I Help saw a lot out. of those pictures going around <laughs> yesterday as memes of Vitz giving Kaiser Chiefs the God of Honor, but this time around it's changed. Yeah. And I think it's one of those um, things about Bitvest Vitz where it's been brewing. Mm. It's a recipe that Gav has been cooking for a while. It's taken a couple of years, but finally it's come to fruition and it really does show the hard work that everybody at Bitvest Vitz has put into the team. Uh, absolutely, because... I spoke about this probably earlier, maybe I didn't ask you directly, is that at the time when everybody was getting excited, there was still the point that there was referee's optional time that was being applied in the other game featuring yeah. uh, Babylody Sundowns as well as Maritzburg United. And it was key to try and keep that contained because they score another goal and it's a completely different picture. Yeah, and, and also when it got to the last 15 minutes, it also can affect the change of the game. Mm. I'll make a change. You know, we could have try to hold the game or try to win the game if we had to, whatever the situation. So, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, I think their game finished maybe 10, 15, 10 minutes after our game. Mm. So there was quite a bit of a wait. And, and it was 2-0 and then the game was almost over. And then all of a sudden it was 2-1, two, 2-2. Two, two, and, and I think they sent it and then the game was over. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, um, yeah, but that's what football's all about. I think it created great uh, for the people at home to create yeah. great excitement. Not for us, you know, but uh, certainly great excitement for the people. Yeah. But I mean, you had to be cautious though, not yeah, to be yeah. carried away by Absolutely the wave of emotion you know. that was happening and there. And even still, it wasn't, it wasn't over the top, uh, yeah. uh, you know, celebration. celebrations. Then, yeah. It was pretty, you know, I mean, yeah, the players are happy, and, but certainly wasn't over the top and in your face type of stuff, you know. All right, I mean, obviously we're looking at all of these scenes, a lot of the players that, I mean, that guy... Granville Scott, you had to go I, and fetch him from I far to sign, away. To be fair, I tried to sign him 10 years ago. Yeah. And we couldn't get him. I couldn't get him and I knew. And then when he phoned, when he came back, I said, right, you want to win a medal? So he said, yeah. So I said, well, come, let's try. <laughs> and he came back and he's been outstanding for us, you know. I mean, that's a kind of, champ when you're in a championship run, those, those players are very key because all of a sudden now you're getting Gale uh, starting to appear that much more yeah, often yeah, yeah. Uh, in your starting lineup. Uh, I mean, you get, you're getting players that ordinarily 
would not be there. I mean, a Gabardino and Mango is not really featuring much yeah. towards the end of the season. Well, I'll tell you what happened. If you take Granville Scott's scenario, we had Colin Malamba, who played the whole first round for us and then got mm. injured. Yeah. So, you know, we had other options, but Granville came in at the right time. Mm. Good experience, good calmness, good number six. Mm. I mean, one of the best, uh, you know, around. And he's done a great job for us. Sure. Now, when you've got a manager and a management team, led by a CEO as well that knows all about winning and has won before, it is one thing. But then if you've got a, a chairman who brings the name of the companies that he owns to be that of the team, not only the team, mm. but also the stadium is named. So there's a lot that is attached to the name Bidvest. And it only centers around one person, and that one person is Brian Joffe. Mm. So now when you look at Brian Joffe and you look at his commitment to the team and the club as a whole, then you can only understand that after the game, when you've declared that Bidvest Vits are the champions, something that you've always yearned for, then you can understand that when Carol's there, Sure, she's a beneficiary of kisses at the end, <laughs> but when Carol's there asking the questions, <laughs> <laughs> questions, then it, it's about the raw emotion. In fact, let's let's pick up on that little clip there uh, featuring the man, the big boss of Bidvest Vitz. Chairman, uh, the most important thing for me uh, since I've joined the team, uh, I, I, I was so happy from the beginning until now. So. It was the most important thing for me to deliver to the team and show the good character. Since you guys, you, you gave me a chance from Mama Zulu, came here and joined the team. It was something good for me, so I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sfiso. Well, what, what was so special about this particular team? I mean, these are unbelievable scenes first title for Bitvest Vids. What, what was it that just made it work this season? Well, I think it's been building up over many years. We've put a lot of effort in and I must say to all the people who work at Bitvest and to all the people who work at Bitvest Vids, this is a really a, an achievement for everybody and I'm very proud and I think the company should be too. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's big. You know what I like about Brian? Yeah. You know when you go overseas and you see those football punters, those guys who come in around the back entrance. He's like one of those guys. He comes in jeans and techies <laughs> and, and he just comes in the stadium and there's no bodyguards yeah, and, you yeah. know, and no, no big deal. No big deal and, 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 and this, uh, this simpleness and, and he's been fantastic and certainly all the credit, I, and I, I don't say this, I say this with my right intentions, all credit should be to him. He's yeah. kept this club afloat. This club was bankrupt, you know, and he's turned the place around and you know, and he's, he's helped us all keep our jobs and feed our families. You know, <laughs> no, but is, I mean, but that's the one thing that he brought you in there for. Yeah. I mean, you had a track record brought about by yourself at Super Sports United back to back on three occasions. So he literally almost wanted to replicate that success. Yeah, he, we actually had a meeting while I was still, I was just got out of contract at another club. Yeah. And he came to me and he said, what do you think? I said, well, the team's not good enough and he's overall. And he was like, no, this can't happen. And, you know, I said to him, this, with the team that you've got, it's going to need a little bit of overall year and there. Mm. And, and it might take a little bit of time. And I was thinking, I'm trying to buy myself some time. <laughs> but in truth, you know, the first year came third and we were very close the first yeah. year. At first season, we were really close. And we got in the cup final and lost to Pirates, mm. a net bank final. Second year, third. And then, you know, it's, so, it's, yeah. so it's been. You know. All right, so building up very nicely as well. Uh, so is the interaction on the social media, on the Twitter. It is going absolutely crazy, though. So keep those that are coming through. We'll catch up with all of your messages. Uh, Gavin Hunt is here. You never know who might be on the magic couch after the break.